So today we're gonna cook sirniki. This is the recipe. This is the ingredients. So first of all, we need a special Ukrainian cheese. This one called the Lithuanian farmer cheese. You can get it at the Russian store in Denver. And it says that this contains from milk. There are two types, uh, two different way to make this cheese. You can make it from milk yourself or buy at the Russian store. Then we're gonna have one egg, uh, brown sugar, any sugar actually good, but brown is better, uh, flour, uh, sour cream to put it on top when it's ready, uh, some salt, and uh, vanilla. I use vanilla natural. So now we're gonna mix all of these ingredients and this is the amount we need. And uh, we'll see where it takes us. So this is how we're gonna do it. First, we're gonna get the cheese and put it in, uh, in some kind of ceramic thing. And then we're gonna add there a little bit of sugar. This is a you want to use a couple of teaspoons. I just add just a little tiny amount. And we're going to mix it. Mixing it together. Then we're going to add a hint of salt. And that's about it. And break their one egg. A raw egg from the grass-fed chickens. We're gonna mix all of that. And this is how it looks like right now. I'm gonna mix it really good. I'm using a fork for that. So everything is handmade. You can exercise your arm, especially if you're recovering from some surgery or from problems, from accidents, it's very good exercise. Uh, in addition to all of that, we're gonna add some vanilla. Vanilla makes everything more delicious. I have 1.5 gram vanilla in the bag and I continue mixing Continue mixing and exercising my arm. <laughs> and after everything is mixed, and make sure you don't have any unneeded ingredients in it, we're gonna add flour. So for the flour, we're gonna use a spoon. And we're gonna add three tablespoons of flour. And we will see with time, while we're mixing, do we need extra flour or it's the way and the consistency we want. Another very important ingredient I forgot to mention, oil. I'm using the sunflower oil which is imported from Turkey. You can buy it somewhere in Denver too. So we're gonna fry in that oil and also we're gonna use it for the formation of those sernichki. So we're gonna put our arms in this amazing oil and then we're gonna have a little amount of this substance I'm going to roll it in the flour and make about this size of pancakes we're using oil so our hands will not be sticking together with sirniki we want to make them as even as possible because then they will be fried evenly. 
this exercise is also very good for recovery if you have any kind of shoulder problems or elbow problems and you're trying to make your arm stronger and your friends or family happy is cooking this amazing little cheesecakes so now we have very very hot pan and oil in it and we're gonna put those little round things in here the trick is to have very hot pan we're gonna fry them probably two minutes one side and flip them over and two minutes another side or until they get nice and brown This is what they turn into and smell amazing. The excess of the oil can be taken if you put them on the paper towel or something. And now they're ready. You can serve them with sour cream and uh, jam or anything you desire. So here they are ready to eat and we're going to eat them with sour cream and a jam. This jam made from peaches and this is only one of the styles to eat it. You can find your own style. Bon appetit!